Hey guys, welcome to week two of online learning. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm doing all right, hanging in there. Um, I miss you guys, I miss being at the school. Um, and I hope to see you at some point in the future. But for now, we're gonna keep going and uh, keep going with this online Google Classroom learning. Okay, so I wanted to, to just do a quick instruction video showing you what I have in store for this week and giving you a couple tips about using Google Classroom. <clears throat> I'm gonna get rid of my, there we go. All right, so the stream again is where I'm going to post announcements or maybe an instruction video, et cetera. All of the work for, for each week is gonna be under the classwork tab on the top. Everything is gonna be under a topic so the topics are on the side here. This is my test class. So it looks a little bit different than your classroom. But if you wanna to get to just the week two assignments, you click on week two. If you wanna look at week one, you click on week one. If you wanna check out what enrichments I have, I will be posting another video soon. You click on the enrichment tab, et cetera. All right, so we'll go to week two. Um, the, there's two things for week two. This one, on your page will be first. This is the material, this is the instructions, and the notes. Every week there will be one of these slides. You don't have to do any assignments in these. These will have the notes and the instructions for the week in them. You want to put them into present mode uh, by just clicking up here and present, and then you can either scroll with your mouse. You don't have permission to play two media objects in this presentation. Okay. Um, I think it's just saying that because I'm taking a video. Anyways, so I'm going to have your agenda. This week, I'm doing a daily agenda. Just a suggestion for you guys. You don't have to follow my plan. It's just, I think, the best way for everything to flow and for you guys to get it done in you know, a short amount of time. It works out to be roughly maybe 30 minutes a day, less probably for some days. All right, so for Monday, part one of the notes, there's two videos. So the first video, it's page eight in your green packet. Again, if you don't have your green packet, you can use um, the Science Learning Journal. Um, to, and then the Reading Works. There's no Reading Works questions due uh, this week. It's just reading. So it's good to go through the book, highlight key terms. If you need to access the online, textbook. Um, I have that video in, in Google Classroom if you want to watch that again if you're not sure. For Tuesday, you can finish the notes. It's the second video. And then you can start the application assignment. I would suggest doing part one and part two. Part one is photosynthesis review and part two is reviewing the flower parts. And then on Wednesday, you can just finish the application assignment. This week, we didn't make any choices. Um, because it's a short week. So in the application assignment is a virtual flower dissection and then a seed dispersal activity with some video clips. So it's pretty easy um, and it shouldn't, again, like I said, it shouldn't take too long. I think in total, you know, it's maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half. No quiz this week because of the spring break. Uh, so notes. Again, I just tell you that what lesson it is, where you should be recording it, and then the videos are split into um, two parts, all right? Um, reading works, it, I just want you to read it. And then here's the second video for the notes. It's not letting me watch it because I'm doing a screencastify. And then the application assignment, again, broken down into the two days. So that's the instructions. You can go in that at any time and read to figure out what you're supposed to do or to watch the notes or rewatch whatever you want to do. The assignment for this week is going to be here the assignment. So to see the assignment, you click on the green clipboard and then here's your copy of the assignment. So when you click on this, it makes you your own copy. It will put your name right here. This is Miss Rooney's name because I'm signed in as her, the fake student. And then your assignment is right here. 
Um, you don't need to save this in your Google Drive. It already does it for you. You complete the assignment right in here. Some of you, I've had a couple of you email me about you know, having blank slides or the assignment disappeared. I don't know how that happens. I, the only thing I can think of is that you're going to file and you're accidentally moving it to your trash or you accidentally deleted slides or something. I'm not sure. Once you open this up, this is your copy. You don't need to resave it, nothing. All right, so for this week, you're just gonna click through, read the directions. And again, the, bot, the slides are not editable for you, only the part that you have to do. So for this, you just have to match the terms with the correct definition. You can use your notes to do that or the book. Here is oops, photosynthesis. You're going to double click the words and you're gonna drag them over to the right box, okay? So this is asking you, where would the glucose molecule go? So you want to think about, all right, what makes sugar? All right, glucose is sugar, and you're going to drag it to the correct spot, whether it's photosynthesis, which is this green side, cellular res respiration is the orange side. And this is reviewing the equations. So you just want to review in the notes or in the textbook, and you're going to type the name of each of these things underneath. Pretty quick and easy. This part is reviewing the flower structure. You're going to drag the correct terms into the correct box, and then you're going to double click them and you're going to change the color by going up here. This is text color. Click on it and you're going to either change it to red if it's a female part, blue if it's a male part, orange if it's neither the male or female part. So that's for Tuesday. Wednesday, here's the virtual flower dissection. I found pictures. These are the actual flowers that we do dissect if we were in school. Um, and I found this website that has really detailed pictures of the flowers. So thankfully, um, I was able to make this out of those pictures. Okay, so you just click in the box to answer the question, blah, blah, blah. Go to the next slide. You want to observe the pictures carefully read the description that I gave you, and then answer the question. As always, you're free to use your notes, textbook, whatever, to help you answer these questions. All of the questions are pretty standard out of the material that you learned in the notes. Some of them are describing what they look like. So you just want to use descriptions like colors, um, spots, shapes, that kind of stuff. All right. Go through, look at all the parts, answer the questions. And then part four is seed dispersal. You're going to play the little video clip, watch it, and when it's done, you're going to detail how the seeds moved away from the parent. And then you're going to try to think of two adaptions that help those seeds move better, help them get away from the parent plant. So remember, an adaption is any kind of feature about the seed. Okay, so you could say for this one, it's the wind. Oh, that's not going to let me play it. Oh, it's letting me play it. You could say that they're fluffy, they get caught in the wind, they're light. Simple, simple. You don't have to go into too detail for the adaptions. You want to remember adaptions are um, characteristics, physical features, something about it that helps it survive. All right. And that's it. So there's a, a video clip for each of the seed dispersal methods. And then you're done. And again, when you're done, you will just exit out of the assignment. You don't need to share it with me. You click the X button. You're going to go here and you're going to click this green turn in button. Once you turn it in, turn in, it tells me that you completed your assignment. If you don't push that button, even if you did the slides, it's going to tell me that you didn't do that. So please make sure that you're doing that for all of the assignments. All right, I'm going to stop it now. Please reach out if you have any questions, you need help with anything, um, anything you need. All right, bye guys.